Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Brian and Jack with Superman's Comics. We told you we would be back. We had a part one to Power Rangers back issue books. Now we're giving you another part, and this is five books we're talking about for Ranger Slayer to be on the lookout for. Right, Jack? Oh, absolutely. Now, everybody in the Simple Men's Comics YouTube family knows how big of a fan and how much of an advocate of an investment I am in Lord Draken, the newest uh, evil villain in the Power Ranger universe created by Boom Studios in the current run of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. And a really close second and maybe a 1A to that is the character we're going to talk about today, the Ranger Slayer, also created by Boom Studios, but in the Go-Go Power Rangers run. Um, and Ranger Slayer has some kind of familiar backstory and ties to the Pink Ranger. Uh, this is Kimberly Ann Hart uh, from another world, um, from the world of the coinless. She was Lord Draken's kind of slave. Uh, he forced her to kind of be a Ranger Slayer. Um, and she's kind of an anti-hero now after she was freed from slavery. Right. And with that being said, we're going to get right into those five big issues, starting with number five, Go Go Power Rangers number 12. Well, here it is with this character being, um, you know, a newer character. There isn't a ton of books out there um, really featuring Ranger Slayer. Now, that is going to change in the uh, near future as um, Boom has already announced a free comic book day book surrounding uh, Ranger Slayer. But getting ahead of that, her initial first uh, story arc in Go Go Power Rangers Issue number 12 saw an amazing cover. This is for my cover art fans that features both Kimberly Ann Hart outside of the Ranger Slayer costume and the Lord Draken ominous behind her. This is a great cover. Um, it was, I believe, her first cover um, or second cover, um, but her first depicting her as Kimberly Ann Hart uh, from that, that dimension. Coming in at number four, we have Go Go Power Rangers number 14, Mercado variant. Yeah, and these were extremely popular um, in the Power Rangers series. I think kind of the predecessor to the popular Goni Montez helmet variants that we have now. Um, and this issue here, we get to see, um, you kind of get to see a body shot, right? You have, you know, no head, uh, no legs. Um, you get the kind of torso area and you get the, the awesome trade dress. And here we're getting Kimberly Ann Hart. Now this is, again, the Ranger Slayer version. Um, um, with that kind of new redesign. Uh, Kim, Kimberly Hart, obviously, you know, uh, everyone's familiar with the old school Power Rangers, the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers being the Pink Ranger. But again, this is like an Into the Spider-Verse thing. We're talking about another world's uh, Kimberly and uh, uh, far more um, kind of violent and uh, um, intricate character. Um, so this is a uh, kind of the first variant cover uh, depicting her on the cover that isn't say a retailer exclusive. Um, so that's why it's right here on the list. And at our third spot, we get Go Go Power Rangers number 15, the Mercado variant as well. All right, so this, this completes the three part set. Um, on 13, you see her as a Pink Ranger, um, the, the traditional Kimberly Hart. Uh, 14, the book we just talked about, you see the Kimberly Ann Hart from uh, the Coinless um, universe and then here we get that Ranger Slayer costume, that iconic costume, um, that newly iconic costume that has Power Ranger fans so excited. Um, this is kind of the first a big variant cover in, in this costume. Both of these Mercado books are starting to dry up as most of these uh, Ranger Slayer back issues are. But this one, we've even seen a most recent sale of $30. And again, not necessarily a key issue. We're not talking about any sort of a first appearance. Just on the fact that... The, that this is a variant cover um, featuring Ranger Slayer. This book is already trading uh, $30. We're talking 10 times cover almost. So uh, incredible. And again, the market's completely dry up. Right. And it's important to know that Go Go Power Rangers wasn't like a huge printed title. No. No, yeah, you're talking about the secondary series, um, uh, the one that was largely kind of viewed her as like a younger audience book, but it's like it was, 21 Jump Street Power Rangers. Yeah, it was really <laughs> depicting the Power Rangers kind of mostly like they're more human stories, they're outside of the costume stories, and that's what's great. Um, while Draken's appearance in the in the main continuity already has a low print run, uh, Ranger Slayer Kimberly Ann Hart's is even smaller. Then at number two, slipping away from Go Go for a minute, we're talking about Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number eleven, but that San Diego Comic Con variant, right? 
Right. So now we talked about the Mercado variant and the in costume um, and that variant, you know, selling very well because of uh, the fact that it's kind of like the first variant in costume. Here, you get that San Diego Comic-Con costume. You get the Goni Montes helmet variant. Um, these are iconic. These are collected. Uh, everybody has to have them. Um, and they s tend to save these like big ones. Uh, these characters that they know there's going to be a lot of attention for, for these big moments. So a uh, comic convention variant um, is a prime example. This book sells for $75 consistently. And again, although it's not her first appearance, uh, being the big variant cover featuring her, all of the uh, Goni Montez helmet completionists, either way, this book is, is red hot. And again, another one that's not easily available. You're not going to see a ton out there on the market. And then coming in on our top spot, of course, is that first appearance. We're talking about GoGo -Go Power Rangers number eight. And Jack, you even said this numerous of times when we talk about Power Rangers books. This book isn't that easy to find, is it? No, it is really difficult. Um, you know, I've talked openly that this book and Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number nine, The First Lord Draken, are two of my favorite buy and stash books. I am constantly on the lookout for GoGo -Go Power Rangers number eight. And I can just never find it. The other day, I again sat down on the computer and decided I was going to try to scour the internet to try to find inexpensive back issues of this book. Forget about inexpensive. You just can't find them. There's a few listed on eBay. They tend to have high- And a lot of times you'll find not just eight, but there's that chunk between about six and 10 that you are, they'll list them and then you see that chunk missing of those issues. Yeah, absolutely. You know, any of these Draken Ranger Slayer issues, they are just absolutely impossible to find on the back issue market. Um, and the back issue market isn't incredibly strong for Power Rangers to begin with. So you're not going to find a store that's sitting on 25 copies at this point. Um, so this is a tough book to find. It's going for about $20 on eBay when it sells, which is infrequently. And, and uh, you know, again, you're talking a big fish, small pond. This is not right now. This is Mighty Morphin Power Ranger fans. They are um, foaming at the mouth for these first appearances. It's going to take similar to what we saw with Jenica and the Ninja Turtles and the regular comics market to kind of come around for these to spike. But this book has hundred dollar potential. Yeah. Um, and and there's incentives and second prints for this, right? Right. So here's the thing. When you're talking about number eight and, and that, that uh, first appearance, you're talking about number eight, the cover a, which is kind of like that go-to popular one, right? But you also have a cutout variant, those old like uh, paper cutout action figures. That's a terrible looking variant, but either way, it exists, um, and uh, it's not an easy book to find because those aren't books that were really heavily ordered. Um, you've got a locker variant where it's like kind of a shot from the inside of a locker. I think that's a one in 15 variant. Yeah. There's a uh, one in 25 variant um, that it, it uh, I think it depicts Ferris Bueller's day off. Or yes. it's, it's an homage, yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, that's not an easy book to find. And then you also and have that boom, boom exclusive, right? The WonderCon convention exclusive. Um, now that sold a couple sales on eBay for about 35 bucks. Here's a big bolo boom studios web store. They are in stock right now for $20. Go, go Power Rangers number eight. It says a uh, convention, I think variant. Um, but they are in stock right now for twenty dollars. So it's basically something. almost like the the newer movie poster, right? Almost. Right, right, yeah. It's like it's like the movie poster. I, you know, again, it's the thing that it's missing is it doesn't feature Ranger Slayer on the cover. But Boom Studios knows how to market because when we come back around for a second print, guess what? Ranger Slayer is front and center on the cover. And this is why we talk about long term plays, Brian. Remember, what have we talked about in the last year? Long-term plays being the way to go. When a book tanks, buy. That's when you buy it. Buy more. You don't give up on it. This book, Go Go Power Rangers number eight, the second print, was at one point a dollar book at both Midtown and TFAW. And you can still find like three to four dollar ones out there. They're, they're out there. Right now on eBay, they're about five plus shipping. So they're running about $10. You can find it occasionally on some web stores for that three to four dollars. You got to pay shipping. Um, you know, I try to find multiple copies when I can, but you know, it's not an easy book to find. People like me bought that book when they had the opportunity at a dollar. Um, and, and I think there's some people sitting on some small stacks, but either way, it's just not out there. So that's another one to be on the lookout for. Cause you know that those cover appearances always kind of get a bit of a premium. 
Now, there were also a, a few stores that did exclusives and wisely chose to put Ranger Slayer on the cover. This is a bonus, but the one that stands out to me is a, a small shop called Kirby's Comics, um, who did a Mighty Morphin Power Rangers 37 um, store exclusive that featured the Ranger Slayer on the cover. Super awesome. It's an homage to Wonder Woman uh, 72, that Bolin cover that's absolutely iconic. Um, and I think that was a creative uh, homage when you've seen kind of every cover under the sun homage. That was one I hadn't seen. So that's one to keep an eye out for. Those store exclusives from Power Rangers, they dry up. I mean, outside of the store that sells it itself, you usually won't see them floating around on the secondary market. Right, so there it is, guys. Those are five back issues for the Ranger Slayer and Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, plus one bonus one from Jack. Make sure you guys are subscribed to this channel because we have videos like this dropping all the time. So subscribe, click that bell, so you'll be notified when those, video, when those future videos drop. With that being said, this is Brian and Jack with Simple Man's Comics, and we'll see you guys in the next video.